Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a suggestion video that I had delayed like two times. So today we'll be reviewing um, Rex Reveler suggested by Rini exclamation mark or Rini underscore 101. Um, I if I butchered that name or mispronounced it, tell me in the comments below, Rainy, if that's how you pronounce it or a different, or, or is it a different way how you pronounce it? But anyways, um, he told me to, to review, um, Rex Reveler from Cars 3, and also he told me to review, um, the Metallic version, which we'll be doing later on, and we're gonna compare to the next gen and then Sage Vandersman and well I forgot to say this name but I'll talk about him later but yeah um so for so let's get on into the appearance of Rex Revler um Rex Revler didn't appear that many times throughout the movie um he was just a background racer didn't speak and he like he was just in the background and then he eventually got replaced by the next gen gaskets racer Dan Dan Garcia, and that's pretty disappointing. But that's what probably he did the same thing to Sage Vanderspin on um, the Cars One gaskets racer. He must have did the same thing to him. So yeah, it's it always happens when um when like evolutions come every single time. Like a new, like a new car or a new technology or, or like a higher performance, something like that. And these cars ended up getting to the wayside. But anyways, um, so then, so now we're gonna talk about his releases. So, um, Rex Revler here was first released in 2017 as a single, and it was actually pretty easy to find for me. And I was able to find them at a Walmart just sitting there. So that, that was pretty exciting in 2017. Just to, like, I think it was like a week before even Cars 3 came out. But yeah, um, so then he was re released in 2018 in a Amazon 10 pack that you may not know. It just has some other re releases of like Bill Tankson, Ralph Carlo, Chip Gearings, and many, many more. Probably people don't even know that kind of, don't even know that release there, but and also and then in 2019 he was re-released as a Thailand version, and it was actually the case before we got the Metallic Rex Revler, which was also from Thailand. So we'll be comparing him since this is a Thailand variant, but it's just Metallic instead of the regular version. And that's it for his releases. He has only been released three times. He's not as rare as some of the other racers, but it's just everyone just forgot about this racer right after the metallic release. So anyway, so now let's get on to the review of Rex Rebler here. So Rex just has a normal happy expression like every single racer from Cars 3. But everyone from the first movie and the next gens they all have determined expressions. So here we see no, uh, headlight. These headlights are functional. Um, there's 80 in the bottom. If you can see it, sorry. The like the lighting is pretty bad. Um, air vents. Um, gaskets on the hood with the yellow stripe. And actually, this is where the difference where the differences come. Um, you see here in the Cars Luna version, you see a cookie, right? And also the race, the racetrack treat, right? Well, that unfortunately got all removed from the hood, so we don't see it right there. But they do kind of look similar, just except for the cookie and the racial treat and that yellow, that yellow stripe. So let's set them back off the side. But we do see the cookie in the back and the slogan on the on the spoiler. It says light year right there on the fenders. I know mine is pretty chip, really bad condition. Cause this was one of my first cars three cars. So I was just a rookie. Light year 
with blue rims. I think he's supposed to have a no, I know he's not supposed to have a red trim, but a blue, a blue rim. He has blue rims. His contingency his contingency sponsors are the Pistinka, Vitaline, Revolting RPM, uh, um, Nitrate, uh, um, Alte Gain, and Clutch Shade. Compared to Sage Vanderspin, oh, he has a lot more sponsors. I know they're blurry because this is a Thailand version, but he has way more contingency sponsors than Rex does. Number 80, he has this black, this gray part, which was not present on the Cars 1 version. It was not present. Um, a yellow line to indicate where the pities, um, where the pities left them up so they could change the tires. Gaskets. A, a, a cookie that has been eaten. Who ate that? That's my concern. I was like, what? Number 80. And actually, this is a pretty good detail. Is that the, that the, um, that the, um, f the m flaps actually are painted blue instead of the red. Like in car, in the Cars 1 version, it's just red. But on here, it is blue. And I actually do like that detail. And also, there's blue right there, sort of, sort of right there. And the other side is just the same thing. Um... Gaskets and some, yeah, just these gaskets. Sorry about that. Um, and also some window bars. <laughs> That's the word. Um, on here, let's see. Let me try to zoom it in. See, ooh, the camera quality is pretty bad. Sorry about that. I'm trying to zoom in here, but it just doesn't want to focus. But there it says the racetrack tree. I know it's pretty bad because it's like a dark color instead of this light blue one. On gaskets, there's the camera. Tail lights are functional. 80 on the bottom. Exhaust pipes, a yellow bottom. On the base, if you're interested. Um, on the base, it just says Mattel, the Netherlands address, made in China. The date stamp up there. And Disney Pixar. And that's pretty much it. So now let's com now let's um compare now let's now let's review the metallic version. And the only difference is the it's just the blue it's just the blue is all metallic. Okay, we're done. That's it. Nah, just joking. <laughs> this is not the review. This all right. Let's see how Thailand's decals compared to the Chinese version. Yeah, right here it doesn't look that half bad. It certainly, kind of looks pretty um good with this metallic paint. Oops, sorry about that. All right, so let's see. Oops, wait. Sorry about that. But anyways, um, the decals don't look don't look that half bad on the Titan version. The runs look okay, 80 looks okay, I think the contingency sponsors need a little bit more improvement, but it doesn't look like I have bad. Gaskets, the cookie store right there, but this one's like a, like a tank color instead of this, like a, like a natural cookie should look like. 80 doesn't look that bad. Actually, oh wait no, the mufflaps are actually metallic and, oh, we just rolled the regular version. The mufflets are actually metallic. I actually never knew that until now. And then that part is also metallic. I actually like that kind of detail. Yeah, same thing on the other side. No metallic in the back. This yeah, one kind of looks a little bit more better to read. Yeah, it says the racetrack tree than this. This you could pretty even read. This one you could sort of read. It it looks it looks pretty good in my opinion. Gaskets, yeah, they're basically the same thing. It's just the metallic blue parts. So now let's compare to the Cars 1 version. And we already showed the differences. Is that the cookie is gone on the racetrack tree. Sage had way more contingency sponsors than Rex ever had right now. Like now. 
The designs don't look that different. It's just the only difference is like that gray spot. Gaskets. Um, oh yeah, the racetrack tree is supposed to be right there. But they took it off because the gaskets logo was too big. Blue muff flaps. Or blue flaps. Um, red ones. I actually don't like that kind of detail on Rex. More better. Yeah, racetrack tree on the bottom instead of on the spoiler. Gaskets. The bases. This is a Thailand, this is a Thailand version and this is a China version. So yep, that's pretty much it. Now let's compare it to the next gen. So the next gen, the only difference is no more red paint. And the and the blues are more and this blue is more dark. Sorry about that. The blue is more darker on here instead of that. The only like bright blue is on like the hood and some other spots. But overall, there's a pretty big difference. No more reds. No more of that cookie. No more of that racetrack tree slogan. It's just pretty sad to see. But I know it's the next gens. And they're trying to like take a more class. Like a more simpler look. So the evolution. Let's pull out the evolution of um, gaskets. Oh, wrong spot. Alright, this is the evolution of gaskets. And let's bring in the metallic version. Just put them right here. So yeah, that's the evolution. Take a screenshot of that if you want to. So yeah, um that's it for the review. Um thank you guys all for watching. And and today is actually um New Year's Eve, so tomorrow will be 2021. So farewell everyone. This is the last video for 2020. See you guys in 2021. Bye.